Hello everyone, welcome to another lecture. We're going to look at skin infections today. Skin infections, let's start with lice. Lice are parasitic insects that can be found in people's heads and bodies. Human lice survive by feeding on human blood. Lice found on each area of the body are different from each other. The three types of lice that live on humans are Pediculus humanus capitis or a head louse, Pediculus humanus corporis or a body louse. Tyrus pubis are crab louse. Okay. Now, lice infestations, pediculosis and thyresis are spread most commonly by close person-to-person -person contact. They're found mainly in children who go to school, especially just after the holidays. They're found in both clean and dirty hair. They feed on human blood. They do not always cause itching. Cannot be killed by regular shampoos, but can be eliminated by using special head lice medication. They do not transmit disease. Do not live on pets. So what are the symptoms of lice? Itching is a hallmark symptom caused by allergic reaction. Lice bit the skin and feed on person's skin, which leads to allergic reaction and itching. Okay, let's start with head lice. So head lice in the eggs can be seen on hair, napes and ears. They can vary in color from white to brown and gray. Eggs are tiny, round or oval that are tightly attached to the hair near the scalp. So let's have a look at pubic lice. Pubic lice is itching around the genitals as well as the anus, armpits, eyelashes and other bodies area with hair. Pubic lice bite may cause small, flat, blue-gray marks that look like bruises on the torso, thighs or upper arm. Pubic lice that infect eyelashes and eyelids may cause irritation and crusting in those areas. Pubic lice tend to spread by sexual contact. Okay, let's have a look at body lice. So itchy sores usually develop in armpits around the waist and along the trunk where seams of clothes press against the skin. The lice and eggs are generally not seen on the skin but may be found in the seams of person's clothing. Treatment, check for live lice and nits. Walk in strong light and section the hair. Use a fine tooth comb. A pet flea comb works well to find the insects and to comb them out if possible or remove them using tweezers. Adult lice are reddish brown. Nits are white or clear and adhere to the hair shaft. They do not jump or fly. Medicated shampoo, cream rinse or lotion to kill the lice. Medicated lice treatments usually kill the lice and nits but it may take a few days for the itching to stop. For very resistant lice, an oral medication might be prescribed. Follow the directions exactly because these products are insecticides. Applying too much medication or using it too frequently can increase the risk of causing harm. Follow the directions on the product label to ensure that the treatment works properly. Alright, treatment may be unsuccessful if the medication is not used correctly or if the lice are resistant to it. After treatment, your doctor may suggest combing out the nits with a fine tooth comb and also may recommend repeating treatment in 7 to 10 days to kill any newly hatched nits. Now, check everyone in the household. Lice are very contagious. Wash all bedding recently used towels and recently worn clothing in hot water and dry them in a hot dryer. Soak all combs and brushes in hot water for at least 10 minutes. Treat eyelashes and eyebrows with a thick layer of petroleum jelly. Apply twice a day for 8 days.